Hello guys, this is Paula. I'm sorry, I was just running along here and I, you know, had all this going and was not thinking that I had friends waiting on me. How are you guys? I hope you've had a great weekend. Uh, I've had a busy weekend and what I am planning to do right now is something we haven't done before. I have this very small little book that I, out of all the books I searched for, it was the, the best one I got. It's different than the one that I got in Happy Mail. This is less than seven inches tall and it's six inches wide. So it's a tiny little book, but I looked at the pictures and I thought to myself, you know, this is um, perfect to collage with. And so why not collage with it? And um, so I have this extra stamp. I think I wanna add to this because I just feel like it needs it. Okay, so I thought what we'd do is look in this um, book, which I think this is a brand new copy. I think it was copyright. I got it on, um, I don't think it was Amazon, some other book place. I just kept searching till I could find something. It was 2016, it was reprinted in 2016. It doesn't tell. First published in Great Britain, 2016. So I guess they got old uh, pictures and decided to use them. Um, you can tell that these are old pictures by the yellow background. Um, and it and someone has written on each of these telling you what it is, you know. Like this is February. I don't know why they started in February. Like this is bird's eye. A false strawberry, it says. Who would have known? <laughs> anyway, and then this says March. Aspen, poplar, buttercrest. So, you know, it's just telling you all these uh, wildflowers. And that's what makes this fun, is the wildflowers. Now, it's not March. Let's just see what happens to be in June while we're flipping through here. Since the book is being made in June. That's still May. Wow. Maybe they all die out in June. Look at this. Ooh, that will be pretty in this book. So I am for sure going to take this one out. Um, the book that I'm working on, I know you guys, I normally wouldn't tear stuff out of a book like this. I usually take the book apart, and I will do that. I just, this is the first time I've used it. So we're going to use the end of May because why not? See, the back has some cool ones too. It's hard to tell, you know, but I'm still looking for June. Let's just see if we can find what they look like in June. They're pr probably wilted up about like we are. Oh, this is May and June. Not too interesting on that page. May and June again. Um, the colors that I'm going for today are these colors. I mean, there's a tiny bit of yellow there, which is in the book too. So it's blue and lavender. So this is more the lavender. So I thought we could look for something more on the blue, blue side. Um, although it's hard to tell because a lot of times uh, the lavender plants do have a tinge of blue, which is always fun. Oh, and also pink. There is pink in this book. A little bit of pink and a little bit of yellow. So let's just look for pink. And I'm so surprised we haven't found anything too exciting. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Come on, pink. Want a little bit of pink. I thought we could do one uh, um, old envelope with pink and one with the bluish lavender if I can find a really decent pink. And right now I'm, 
I'm not even thinking about what month. I'm just looking. So if you notice, the wildflowers, there's not a lot of pink in the wildflowers. Now, this to me doesn't look like a true pink. It looks more in that lavender family. So here's a little bit of pink right there in July. Keep my finger on that. Oh, here's some. And we do have some yellow. So here's some pink. But when you look at it up against this, it doesn't really look so pink, does it? This one looks more so pink than this one. So I'm gonna keep my finger here and we're gonna keep going until we can hope that we find something truly pink. I like that, but I don't know that it's truly pink either. Hmm. This has all the colors. And so, 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 so. Let's see. I don't see any pink jumping out at me, except maybe right there. Let's take this one. It's the closest to a true pink. And um, again, I don't normally take my books apart like this, but just because of, you know, the whole, I was gonna hold this up and let you see uh, the information on it if you were interested in this book. It is uh, The Wildflowers of Britain, month by month. And I don't have the ticket for this or I would tell you exactly where. I've had it for a little while. So, yeah. Now, if these were bigger, and they still could be done this way, you could do them as um, um, some, you could do them as a whole envelope by their self. Now, not to say that we can't do that with this, but I, I wish this background was not yellow. That's one thing I don't like about it. But let's start off with this one. This is an old, old envelope. I'm trying to figure out, it is uh, 1922. And it is so faded, you can just barely see the ending. I think it's February the 21st, 1922. And of course, there's nothing inside the envelope. This envelope has been, is torn. So I'm going to see if I can repair it somehow by putting some, um, some paper over I gotta get the right container out here. I'm telling you, I've got some old old uh, book page here, and I think what I'm gonna do is just see if we can't glue that down inside there. So I've been working all weekend on the nature book, and really, when I say nature, what I'm gonna do, I could say botanical, you could say nature, you could say bugs, you could say birds, you could say. Butterflies. Well, I'm using butterfly birds, florals, and a few bugs. I'm just throwing them in there. And so I'm just going to call it a nature book. And here is, I've zoomed in so you can see better. So I hope that that wasn't a mistake for me to do that because I'm so used to being a certain distance that I'm trying to stay in camera as best I can. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, glue this, put glue on this and put it inside to kind of operate on our envelope. Hadn't thought of how I would ever do this, but I think this is probably the best way to do it. If I can get my fingers in there. Now, you can see, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just sliding that paper inside and using it like a patch for this back portion. Now this right here is just part of the flap and I'm just gonna put some all over that. But that'll keep this portion from opening up again. Now we've got the one on the front, we need to do the same thing. So 
I'm about to do that. Let's see. I'm not paying attention, you know, to what shape or anything it is because that doesn't really matter. But I just want to make sure it goes in here and gets butted up as far as possible toward the front and hope that it doesn't glue the envelope together. Um, let's see. We may have to stick something down in there if we start having trouble. Doesn't feel like it's going to. So now, here's how it looks. Can you see that? I know you guys probably don't even care about that, but somebody might. I try to please everybody. <laughs> It's so funny because, you know, it's it is a very hard thing to do. <laughs> I, at least pleasing all the kids, you know. Trying to please everybody is what I used to tell the kids. Can't please everyone. <laughs> but I try. And that's important to me. Okay, so I, the part that I want to try to keep uh, open here a little bit is this portion. Um so let's start with i don't know i like this lavender that you know that's not as purple but more lavender and now i'm not i'm just taking i guide with my fingers here around the actual plants and so i'm not keeping the month the names i'm not even concerned about any of that and i'm really not even concerned about the height um that these will be but i decided since um we were doing a, a journal full of florals and whatnot that we could do and see, this will leave some of that right there, which I like. Now, some of some of this down here will not, um, most likely will not show. There's nothing we can do about that. Uh, I'll keep the scraps, of course, for something else. And, yeah, I think I like the way that looks. And I'm going to tear here off this one side a little bit and get the text off. Okay. And then, let's see. We'll just kind of tear across this bottom a little bit and we don't have to be too concerned about how that looks. Okay, all right. Now, because I'm inking this book, I think I'm going to ink the florals. Not a lot though. I don't want it to be like, you know, I just want the, the torn edges to kind of show. I don't want that little word off of there. See if I can get it off without tearing through the flower. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I love tearing flowers. I love fussy cutting flowers. I have been so hooked on fussy cutting, it's nuts. I could sit and just fussy cut. It's just like therapy. Do you guys feel that way? I feel like, you know, this makes me feel good today. So I'm going to do it. Okay, so over here, I want to do a little bit of this yellow and pink, and maybe this right in here, but I like that too. The only thing that's bugging me is the fact that it's a yellow page. So, I don't want to bore you by getting back into the book, but let's see if we can find one just that's real close that has a white page. Um, I just think it would look better with the other one. Um, see, most of them have a background that's yellow. That's because they're older. The images are, ooh, look at that. Pretty. And that's not a lot. I mean, it doesn't have a lot in here because it is a small book. So it looks like there's not really any pink on white. Just a few white pages in it as there is i didn't even realize it when i was pulling them off that what the background color was i assume they were all um white or i mean yellow okay all right well here's one that has a white background let's do that 
I think I'll like it better in the long run. Okay. Then we can get back to our project. Okay. So, I guess we can't really call this a vintage. It's a vintage envelope for sure from 1922, but it's a... Um, and it's vintage flower pictures, <laughs> but the book itself is not vintage. So, ooh, but see how this is lying on its side? Mm, I don't know. I can't, I, I'm, I'm uh, not sure how I wanna do that. So let's just start tearing. And when we get where we want here, I'm getting this, all this text off this side. So I don't have to worry with it. So I just put my thumbnail kind of on top of the flower. I tear down with one nail and up with the other, but I go very slow. You wanna go very slow because before you know it, you can be tearing right through your, your flower. But this is how I've been doing it. And I'm sure everybody has their own little way of doing it. Okay, now this one says July, but I'm taking that off of there. I can't decide if I, yeah, I like that. I like the other one too, so we may use it on the second envelope. And we'll just use this one on this envelope. Okay, come off of there. And you know, you might have a, uh, envelopes, I mean not envelopes, leaves that go with one plant running into another plant because, well, it is kind of uh, crowded on this paper. I'm going to go around these other pinks while I'm here and that way we can, I'm going to tear around this July and take it out. Okay, I don't know if I like that or not. Let's see, this portion, I'm not even going to go down that far because it will be, it's not going to be what we want it to be. Ooh, like it? Look, it matches that stamp. That was a ac true accident. <laughs> I promise you that was a true accident. And I like, I'm going to tear off some of this leaf, just the very edge because it's, wanting to hang, it's not wanting to hang off, but I also don't want the name to be on here. If it can't be on everything, I, I like consistency. So, but I will tell you, I'm not sure if I'm done with the cover, but I will tell you that it has turned out really pretty. And um, I'll just give you a peek, how's that? Um, I haven't bound the book yet because I'm still working on things for the book. But this is how the book turned out. And I think it really turned out pretty. You ready for the inside? Here's the inside. So um, I put a lot of thought and detail into this. And it is really, I mean, there is no glue leakage or anything. I'm learning how to do that better and better where you don't have to see anything like that. Now, I'm trying to decide if I want to add anything else around the book. That is not decided yet. So, let's go ahead and ink this pink. I hope you guys aren't sick of collaging. I know everybody's doing it on their Facebook channels and you know it's it's addictive. I mean, once you start doing that and fussy cutting for it, it's like, gosh, that's crazy. I could do this all day. You know, it's, it's um, what can I say? It's fun. All right, so I'm gonna kind of lean that because I did kind of bend off that branch tiny bit. 
Now, the other colors in here are pink and lavender and um, blue, which I don't have. And this is blue enough. Um, and yellow. So, I'm looking on the back side of this. Here's a little bit of yellow right there. But that's the roses I wanted to use. So, can't use that. Going to hang on to that. Um, see what's on the back of these. Oh, there's some yellow. I can take this one. I will take these yellow. So, you can do, you can do your, I saw Wendy um, the other day do, um, do her little flower garden on some text paper, which turned out really cute. Kudos to her. I thought it was really cute the way she did that. She layered them over each other like they were in a garden. Some were higher than others. You need to go check out her video. Um, anyway, so I thought that was cute the way she did that. And see, I think it's, I'm not trying to mimic that. I just thought about it. <laughs> just thought about what she had done. Okay, so I don't really like this orange right there. So maybe we'll move this over a little bit and maybe cover up that leaf I really don't like. But I don't want to cover up all of the wording and that wood. So I might just let this hang off a little bit and trim it. And then here we can put the yellow right here. And again, we did not find blue. Um, there is a tiny bit of blue right in here, but it's so close to what the purple is. I just, I think this is good enough. All right, and on the back of this card, I'm trying to think, do I want to add any other color on here? I mean, as far as the background, but I think the back of the card will be the journaling card. And then we can add, I mean, the back, you know, can be where they journal. And yeah, so I'm going to get this put down right now before we change our mind. Okay, and then when it's all said and done, I, I'm wondering if I shouldn't stamp the stuff I'm going to stamp first, excuse me, while I try to get this without knocking my lamp over. Um, I want us to stamp, you know, a little bit of mail type because the stamping on this one is so old you can't even hardly see it. If you know what I mean, the little wiggly lines are gone. So let's do that first. Let's, let's stamp those first. All right, now the first thing I'm gonna do is stamp over this one up toward that one with this little undersized wavy postcard stamp. I have not been able to find one that has both on it. Has anybody been lucky enough? Well, that really just covered up everything. So, um, sorry about that, but we are going to go, uh, go out here and kind of just use this side of the stamp and do a little bit there. Okay, and that and that's not a big deal to me. You know, it's messy, but, you know, it's not any worse than the post office does, right? <laughs> and there, I like it to look like it is actually stamped but here's the original right here um okay so now i'm going to put the glue on our 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 envelope our flowers blah 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 i'm sorry guys i have had a lot going on today and mostly i've just been working in my craft room and my husband's been working in his office we're, we've got a lot of things we want to get done before he retires, and so he's been working on those things. And I've kind of took over his office, and I pretty much use it for a junk room. <laughs> Just because we have such, you know, we've sewed our huge house and <laughs> moved into this small house. And, you know, which was appropriate for us to retire, and 
we didn't want to have a lot to take care of and so we've been just doing everything like that we're gonna we're thinking of adding um onto our patio in the back we think we're going to um let me see how i want to do this i think i'm gonna let it kind of i don't want all that orange to show if you know what i mean so yeah i'm gonna pull it back this way more and over i had this covered earlier so there um we're going to add on to our patio in the back we have a patio a covered patio that's pretty good size but we're going to add um a pergola on we're going to pour concrete about the same size of what the one is under that's covered under our roof uh, our patio and then we're going to um put a pergola up to add shade and I want to be able to hang some lights on it and we've even talked about putting at the very end of it toward the front a uh, fire pit you know which is way out away from any roof or anything but as far as the fire pit goes my husband and I wouldn't use it but the kids would enjoy it and at night when the pond you know the fountains in the pond are going and and have the kids over for hot dogs or whatever you know and s'mores okay that i think this is looking pretty good guys what do you think okay got that orange all covered up and that was my go my main go except for right here but we'll pretend that's not there <laughs> okay all right so this is the front and I think the front turned out pretty good. Now, when it's all over with, I'll ink around the outside. And I'm going to make a, a journaling card or, uh, let me show you. I have different kinds of cards I can make and slide in there. Um, I was thinking about making, I've cut out the, the pieces here, see. And I'm, this is some of the cardstock from the, the book. And so I thought I could mat this just barely on this old observ uh, observation book page. I've got some birds and butterflies in that. And yeah, and I could do it like this and then slip it in. That is what I'm thinking about. And I've also got butterflies. And so they're all ready to be glued and inked and all that. But I thought this would be more fun to do first. So I'm going to flip this over. And now we have to get serious on um, putting some place on the back to journal. You know, I want to start off like maybe toward the middle. We'll put a big section to journal on. And I'm only inking really because I'm... Um, I ink the stuff in the front. I just think it'll look better if it's it's similar. Okay, so I'm gonna put the ink on this. This is kind of heavy cardstock that I had in my scrap box. Well, actually, I added it to my scrap box. Used to, I would use any kind of grid or lined stuff on my scrapbook pages for backgrounds. But since I've been collaging, it's been getting added into my my um, big old stash of paper. Okay, so that is a perfect place to um, do our... Okay, I'm looking here to see what else I've got. I've got some of this other stuff, but it really isn't... Um, trying to think if I want to collage with that or if i want to use some of it i'm grabbing it guys excuse me just grabbing some of the paper that's in the book and the scraps that i have and just to see what it would look like so we've got some green and baby blue and purple and uh blue 
I know there's more down here, but, oh, and here's some pink. So maybe we'll tear some of this and put in here um, and just see what it looks like. And we may end up adding um, some more floral in here as well. Let's see. I wanted to show you what I found. Okay, so I know most of you probably watch Gail. And um, she has a pair of old scissors that she uses to just kind of make the edges. I'm going to show you on something so you can see what it will look like. If I can find something that needs to be crooked. <laughs> so you just take these and you just cut them. And they, it gives them more of a shaggy look. Now, it is a little bit of a up and down kind of thing, but it's the closest thing, $350 for both of these at Walmart. And I thought for $350, I could try them. What do I have to lose? I threw all my old Creative Memory ones away, you know, and these are by, this is by uh, Fiskars. So, we all know who they are, and you can find them just about anywhere. But I wanted to give you that little tip while I was thinking about it. Okay, so now we're going to add this pink. But I want to add a little bit of ink first. I have made a lot of stuff for the book. So I'm going to get down to the point I have to pick and choose. Um, and we'll do that together. I will end up doing that uh, portion to, with, we'll do it together. Okay, so I'm going to kind of just line that up since it has a straight edge. That works out perfect. I like that. Okay, now maybe we'll get some of this purple and blue. <laughs> Now, I don't, I don't necessarily want to do all of this identical paper. You know, I'm just kind of, I just thought, well, I might as well stick with the color scheme since, you know, since that's what I kind of did on the front with the florals. Now, when I, I am adding all kinds of colors of flowers, I believe I've torn out of off of some off of the sheets that I got through Happy Mail. Um, all of the loose flowers that you see in in that book um, will be from from that. I don't want to put that on there. Let's see. Let's use some of this. Um, I'm trying to think. I should have turned that over. It's got solid colors on the back, are almost solid. And we we can do that for um, some of the smaller pieces. Fun. It's not looking half bad, huh? I was just glad I had some stuff left to collage with because I was thinking, hmm, okay, this is going to have to be down here if I'm going to use this portion. Kind of, I'm trying to keep from having to put tiny pieces down. And listen, I'm not going to fill the tiny pieces. I'm not worried about those. And um, I don't want it to look like, you know, I put a bunch of little pieces to cover up spaces. I just let the spaces be there, the natural part of it. So you guys need to tell me what you're working on. And also tell me what you'd like to see me do videos on. I'd love to have some ideas. I know a, a lot of um, people will ask their subbies what they, you know what I did out of habit? I forgot to ink around that. And these others as well. How 
because normally when I collage, I don't ink around them until after the fact. And I just thought I would since I did the plants. <laughs> oh, well. What can I say? We'll have a little bit of fun going on here. I'm going to kind of put a light wash over that just a little so that this doesn't look so bright. Now, I do have a couple spots I'm noticing that are trying to stick up right here. So we'll just go under there and put some glue and then rub it away. Now, let me get my wipey out. Keep my fingers from getting sticky. I'm thinking that we, I don't, I'm, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do we, should we put something at the bottom here? Maybe a little something. Kind of looks odd, doesn't it? I'm trying to find a place to lay my wipey that won't get something wet and there's so much paper around my desk. That's impossible. Impossible. Okay, so let's ink this little one that I'm going to put on here. Now, this is not to fill in a space. This is to kind of put at the bottom of this white to kind of break it up. Ooh, my paper is getting sticky over here. Okay, we'll put a little bit of this green. Or do we want it over here? No, because that, that's pretty green too. Let's just kind of overlap it. We'll just do like a small amount around the bottom. And then we'll see if we can find a label um, to put somewhere. Let's see, let's do this purple on this side. I like that better. Okay. Okie doke. It's still kind of, still kind of has a place there that I should have scooted it over more toward the green. Let's just do this. All right, we're gonna have a little piece on here anyway. And then I'm gonna look and see if we have a tag or Maybe we might want to put another floral on the back. You guys, I wish you guys could tell me, hey, put the floral, it'll look better. This is when doing live would be fun, although I don't do live, <laughs> but it would. I mean, because then you can communicate back and forth at least. Okay, so there is this. Now, let's see what this might look like if we put a little something on here. Now, I'm thinking I tore off the top of this to get that, that yellow on the other side. I could have just collaged this in and it would have looked good. Hello, let's just kind of tear it. I don't want to waste this part of it if we don't have to, you know. It's got a little bit of yellow in it. It's got, well, I just took off the yellow. Sorry, I fibbed. <laughs> it does have the writing in it, but we could put it right here or right here. I, I don't know that I'm, I just love that. Um... I'll have to see what other flowers we have here. Let me dig out from under the paper. Okay, we've also got this. Um, let's see, let's see. Hmm, that must be all of those. I thought I had an extra one. Hmm, I guess this is the extra one. <laughs> Hello, I use the other one. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and tear around this and put one on both sides. That will solve it, right? And 
maybe no label because I don't want to cover everything up. So if we go like this, we can kind of run into that other one right there. Yeah, but it takes up too much of our writing space, so I don't want to do that. And, hmm, I don't want all this writing on there. I like labels. I like titles, but I don't like um, when a bunch of writing's just on there randomly. I'm kind of taking the square look off of this because I don't think it looks as good. Give it a little bit of a rounded top a little bit even though it's the bottom of a plant but nobody knows that but us unless they're a, a master gardener or something right okay so here we go yeah i like that better okay so now i'm going to ink that up Yeah. I'm going to finally be doing the flip through for the flutter book. Oh crud, I did not want to use this. I wanted to save it for my other book. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we'll just work off of this one. We can put another tall one there, can't we? Let's just start right here. And then I'm just going to tear around this portion. This gets faster and faster the more you do it. I tore a bunch for the last uh, botanical book that, that we did and kind of got used to it. When I was doing that, it got faster and faster. Okay, it's funny because I could have really put either side on there. There's the back with glue. See, either one would have worked, but I really like the way this one looked. I like this better than how we were going to do it. I don't think we have anything short to the ground that's... We'll save that for later. Okay, so we've already pretty much inked around the whole thing. And so what we will, I'll ink around the front too real quick. And then we will move on to the second one. I'll have to see how much time we have. You know, I'm a piddler. No, I'm not really. I'm just, I'm just uh, up in my 60s. What can I say? Turn 63. Uh. Okay, so we don't need an extra stamp on this one. I think this turned out really pretty good. What do you think? I think we did a pretty good job on that. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the other one out and get rid of this trash that's lingering all over the table. Pull out the plants that we're going to use. This time we're going to use the yellow background because there's not enough uh, with the white background that would really work on this second envelope. So, here we go. Let's see. Now this one has some kind of sticker on it. I don't know, and look at this lady on this stamp. The, I can't really read, it says Brief Centrum. Um, and I think it, I, this is the postmark right here, I think, or maybe this that says 66 is. So I, I'm not positive guys on that exactly, but I thought on this one we could add a, 
another stamp if we need to. And I had a blue one that came and came with all this. So I'm liking this that we already did too, that we tore for the other side, but then I really like the pink. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on that and think. Here's some purple we can use. And I like, I like this purple. It's a lavender is what it is. And um, if we don't use it on the front, we can use it on the back. So we'll just decide as we go along. But I'm trimming it just so it'll be ready. It really doesn't have all these leaves do not belong with it. So I'm going to kind of get rid of them if I can without it falling apart. It's getting pretty thin. Okay, I'm just gonna lay that there. It's done. Um, little pieces there that can be used on something else. And this one doesn't have anything on that side, but it does have this little, little bit right here that has purple. So we'll get that off and then we'll have another piece of ephemera. Now, I don't know if we'll use both of these in the book or just, you know, one of them. But I thought I would make two while I had everything out. Now, over here, I just flipped some paper across the room. That just cracks me up. Okay, this one also needs ink. That's what I was reaching for, was this other one to ink. Okay. All right. There's those two that can be on standby. Now, this is the rose. I'm going to go ahead and use it because I know that this side was cool, but I need the pink for what we're doing. Yeah, so there we go. You dog. Got that ready. Okay, so the rest of this, I think, pretty much is we're going to have to go to this. Um, now, on this side, we have pink and yellow, and we have the purplish blue so this will work fine i just wish we didn't have the yellow background but can't can't mess with the old prints but i think it's been my experience hunting for these books that you're better off just to start with british type books because they they have a lot and um, that's where I'm finding the majority of what I want. Just type in like uh, wildflowers, a Briti British wildflowers, or you know, whatever it is you're looking for. And I know I've noticed people who show the books that they get a lot of times they come from there. You know, and what cracks me up, it doesn't crack me up, it breaks my heart. It doesn't break my heart either. It just, um, it aggravates me that I can't be fortunate enough to, you know, as many vintage shops as I go to, to find any vintage botanical books. It just, it makes me crazy that I have to get online and search all over the place. Now, eBay has a lot too, um, but I'm not as fond of eBay, as I'll just be honest, you know, working with eBay, but uh, I'll do what I gotta do, you know, as far as that goes. These are all so entwined with each other, I'm almost tempted to make it like one big, like right, you know, go through here like this. I wanna keep some of this address on here but I just think this would look better if we can kind of 
We might have to keep the titles on here, though, um, on the actual page because we will be... Um, there, it's, it's in between everything. There's no... I mean, I would tear it off if I was doing them individually, but I kind of like doing the different shapes is what... What I'm finding as I do this, I like them to cover certain things. And look at that. That's fun. We can get this one that says cat ears off. If it's where I can easily do it, I'm, I'm yanking that sucker off of there. And actually, I'm just going to tear this section off because... It's okay. Kind of left us bare up in that corner. This is the only one. I'm sitting here looking at it thinking, how can I get rid of you? Can I cover you? <laughs> or what? <laughs> I'm looking here to see you. You don't realize how serious I am. Can I cover you up? Nah, I'm not going to worry about it. But anyway, I don't like it. So I'm going to ink this big piece up. And I, in order to do it different, I just thought we could do it like this. And I don't want them both to look identical. And it's funny how both of them have kind of turned out flatter on this side. Of course, the paper is flatter there. But um, I'm taking it over as far as I can. I'm going to do the stamping first because I don't want to stamp on my flower. Even though it would be stamped over the flower, um, I just don't want to, to do that. Oh, this just got it everywhere. No wonder the little thing is... Having a hard time. It also has a stamp right there, too, if you notice. But I thought I would cover that portion with an actual stamp. And just see what we come up with. Okay, so that might not have been the best idea because, you know, maybe our flower will cover it. Yes, it will. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with all kinds of solutions. Uh... There we go. I also, I like covering, I like stamping over them because um, they can, I'm trying to see what the postmark date is on this. It was, looks like it was two cents. So it can't be, says 5020, which really has nothing to do with it's probably the location of the post office or something. But I can't see the postmark on this one. So it must be... I'm going to ink it up a little bit so it kind of blends with all our other things. Okay. And I think I'm going to add a stronger glue because it's pretty thick. So I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac here kind of looks it's got a it's been on a postcard before because you can see like some capital type building or government type building I do like adding stamps to stuff like this I think it's fun it gives it a fun look and of course it's seeping I'm like everybody else I don't know about you guys, but I've been trying to back off of some of the Fabri-Tac because they have raised the price on it so much. And it just feels like, because people use a lot of it, you know, they can rob you. But, nope, not going to let them rob me. I do have it on hand because, you know, we have to have it for certain things. But, I, uh, I don't like them. You know, just charging us so much for it. 
they just raised it to like, it's $14.95 at Michael's. It's 12 at Hobby Lobby, but you can use your 40% off, which gets it down to about what it is at Walmart. It's $9.97 at Walmart. You all know this because you, um, you shop for it too, so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we're going to glue down our big floral piece. Come on. All right. Come on, my goodness. Okay. So see, now it looks like we've covered our stamp and we can't even see what we stamped over here. Ah, uh, might need to stamp it a little bit right there, but only the lines part of the part that just has the lines. Let's see what we can do. I looked down there for a second and thought I had put that flower on upside down. You know you're losing it when you start thinking those kind of things. I just want this to have it, a line over it. And my little thing just came off again, but I know what it is, so I'm not worried about it. It does that every time. Those were some shoddy stamps. You know, and they came from Amazon, but... You know, they'll sell anything to you at Amazon. Okay, so what do we want to do down here? Um, and that's well, what I'm wondering. This is kind of cool right here. Um, you might not be able to tell very well, but it's some of the lower. It's the same as this blue with purple right here. It's just, it's almost like it's not completely bloomed out or it's not completely um, in the right, it's not, not facing the right way when the camera was taken because it's kind of, looks more tilted. I don't know. That's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to get these. This is called Sea Holly. Kind of has that. Sea, uh, um, starfish, not starfish. It has the starfish type shape, but it also has uh, kind of an iridescent look. Like you could, not iridescent, like you can see through it. I don't know what I'm talking about today. All right, so now let's put the glue on this and we will possibly have the front portion done. Unless I decide to add that pink. Now we're gonna be able to see um, I hate this orange right here, but it is part of the postmarking. I really wanted to put that pink on the front. Let's see. But we really already have pink, you know what I'm saying here? This is not, this did not get enough glue on it. You get some like that every now and then. I just ordered my second box of 20 from Amazon on my glue. Since we started this, you guys know it hasn't been that long ago that I was telling you my husband got me a case and I laughed because I'd never use all that. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. And he was the one that ordered it for me. He said, I thought you weren't going to use all this. I said, shut up. <laughs> Be nice. Okay, so this is the front. Now, I'm going to save this pink for the back. And I'm thinking maybe I want to put this right here. I am. I don't I don't want all of that orange showing. And this won't cover up any more of the address. So I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah. 
Yay! Got the front done. Let's run a little bit of ink around it while we're at it. And again, this one will have either a butterfly or a bird journal card in it, inside it as well. Okay, if I use it in the book. Now, on this side, we have someone's name. Uh, this is going to go on there, but let's get some um, paper that has some kind of text on it. We'll use something different than we used last. I just got to find it and dig it out. Come on, come on. Here's something with a grid, too. So... I kind of want it to be where it doesn't show the whole name. So I'm going to tear just the little bottom of this. And it looks like this has a little bit of pencil on it. I'm correct. It is. Let me see what time it is. Oh my goodness. We have to do this like the speed of lightning because um, we're already at an hour and I'm going to start getting people angry at me. They may even stop watching me. Please don't stop watch watching me when I run late. Um, I know you won't. I know you're people I can count on. <laughs> okay, so now let's tear this off so we can have some clean space. And let's get some glue on here and get this down. Sorry, I'm banging, trying to hurry here. You pretty much know what I'm up to here. Um, we're going to do the same sort of thing we did on the other book. We're just going to cover up, you know, put some text on here to, for them to journal. And then we're going to also, this is a type of flower that kind of lays. It's like it's on the ground kind of thing. Okay, now let's tear some of this. I'm not covering the whole thing on this one. So uh, I'm just going to, since it has an address on it, the other one didn't. And since it doesn't, I'm not going to cover the whole section back here this time. Now, we might cover it with some flowers. <laughs> you know that I have to do that. Hung out with some of my friends this weekend. Uh, that was fun. Hadn't seen some one of them in a while and so that was nice to do and let's see what else did we do hmm, hmm, hmm. we didn't really you know we didn't have a lot going on this weekend so um we didn't plan a lot i'll put it that way we just kind of doing stuff here i've been in my craft room most of the weekend you know, I feel like I get more done when my husband's home to kind of help me with Sadie. Although, guys, guess, get, get this. Okay, Sadie went to the, for her one-year checkup. I don't know if I told you guys this or not. I may have. If I have, I, I'm sorry. I don't think I could have because I couldn't do a video yesterday. Um, so, she went for her one-year checkup yesterday. And um, she weighed six pounds and nine ounces so much for being a teacup right but she's still so tiny um so i i uh couldn't believe it when my husband brought her back and said she weighed six nine and they said she wasn't overweight at all but she's gonna have to have her baby teeth some of her baby teeth pulled you know she's had kind of dog breath Maybe worse than normal dog breath. <laughs> uh, 
for her age, you know, you don't expect them to have doggy breath usually for over until after a year, but she's had it for it's and it's turning out to have been the the uh tooth. And she said there was some string wrapped around the tooth and I'm thinking, "What?" <laughs> she chews everything, guys. I mean, she will eat anything and everything. She was chasing a huge spider the other day. I took her out and the spider came out from a bush and I didn't notice it. I turned around and she's after this giant spider. And I'm thinking, you are crazy. But anyway, so I have to, you know, step in and be the bad guy and kill the spider to keep it from being eaten by her. It did kind of look like a fiddle bat too, which made me a little nervous, but they're, they usually don't come out in front of you that often. So they're a little bit different. Okay, so now let's see what else we've got that we can spread a little sunshine on here. Let's use some of this green. And then I think after we use this green, we'll put our flowers down. And... Um, We'll be done with this one, maybe. Let's see. And I will be doing, in my next video, I will be doing the flip through for the Flutter book. I've got it all fixed. I just got to get all the measurements and the weight of the book and all that stuff taken care of. You have to have all that for Etsy. Can't just put it on there and just put a, a price. You have to fill out a lot of other things. Okay, so I'm thinking I don't like this part right here. So if we don't have something that's gonna cover that. <laughs> here are these. I know I had other stuff laid out here. Did we use it all? Seriously? Crazy. That's that's not even worth using there. This one's this one has a good part of the flowers on it. We may put a label on this one since we don't have a ton. I don't want to pull out a page just for this tiny little bit, you know. Um and we've got pink and purple here. Oh, and we have a bluish color also. Let's put this, but see, I don't want to put it in too tight with that. Let's put it right like that, maybe. And maybe put this behind them. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can always do a label on the other side. So let's do this one first. Let's, let's put some glue on it. We're going to put it right here. Okay. And again, this kind of reminds me of what Wendy did. She kind of, you know, put stuff over the top of others like it was in a, in a roll or something. Okay. And one more. Yeah, I like that. It's different having some spaces here um, that's open. Okay, let me get a label. I should have pulled that out before I went on camera, but I didn't. Sorry. Okay. Let me flip my book over. And I will be back uh, to do a video on the... I'm trying to see what colors we have here. Just looking to see if we had anything... That would look good with this color scheme. But I'm not seeing anything too exciting. 
Let's see. Let's go back. We could just put a butterfly on there. You want to do that? Since we're going to be doing butterflies at some point, let's grab out a couple and see which ones we like. Here's some different ones. There's that one. Here's the yellow, which is kind of nice because um, we do have yellow in the book. But you don't want... Here you go, Roxy. I'm going to do one for you. <laughs> I'm going to do one flying down. Okay, here is a blue. So we'll just do this blue right here. And that way... Let me put a little ink on. Oh, it's already inked. Perfect. I figure since we're doing butterflies in this book too, it would be fine to... I'm going to have to flatten that because of the situation, but there you go. I will ink around the outsides of this. Have it all nice and ready for the book and I hope you enjoyed today's videos video guys and if you did please give me a thumbs up and come back I want to see you guys come back and watch the flip through of the flutter book and then in a few days I'll have this nature book done and when it's time to decorate that book I'll come back and we can decorate it together and um, so yeah have a great day, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.